everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 index. Um, before we get started, just the daily reminder that uh, the website and this video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. And we're going to look at the S&P real quick. Okay, coming into the day. Oh, by the way, we're looking at a five-minute chart. Coming into the day, um, in, in yesterday's video... I had identified this very small little pattern here that just, it looked to me like this market had formed kind of a downward little uh, pennant that um, if it broke out over the top side should signal for some gains today. And uh, additionally, uh, this line down here that's kind of a light pink color, this is a parallel line. Oh, well started out parallel parallel line to this top line that we know has been working uh, reliably with uh, as it regards the tops for the past week plus so uh, when we broke uh, down below this parallel line and it looked like we were starting to maybe firm up right here um, this little pattern also made it made it uh, kind of a, a clue, I guess you would say, that the selling interest was starting to wane, that uh, buyers were starting to, to, well, I don't want to say buyers were coming into the market so much as sellers were leaving the market. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you get one of these little uh, wedge patterns like we had right here, it just means each time you, you get the little peak, you get a sell-off, and you get another little peak then you get a sell-off, then you get another. It's like the distance between the valley and the tops gets less and less. So th that kind of clues us in that the selling interest in the market is beginning to wane. Now, today, we had kind of an interesting little pattern that actually... If it had had an even flatter top, I guess it depends upon where we draw this top line. But this little pattern looks like a small bull flag. So it's looking to me now like this uh, market is going to head up and likely test the, uh, the, this 1260 area again in, in the mid to high 1260s. Whether it can break out of that area, break over this little neckline, break over this descending, these both are lines uh, where I would expect resistance. Um, then this line, I would expect strong resistance, and this line, I would expect strong resistance. This is the, uh, uh, the that rising line that you could see once we broke here, it, it um, carried through pretty well. Uh, throughout all of yesterday. So just in general principle, this is looking to me like we, we broke this uh, high 1260s area um, and now we're going back to at least retest that area. But if that retest is <coughs> produces a move over this previous high back here on the 27th, then it's got uh, it's going to be uh, some tough sledding, I think, to get over 1278. Okay, looking now on an hourly chart, I just want to show you that if this market can get over that 1278 area, then it looks like this whole uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks or so may end up being, you know. It, and it is conditional, but it may end up being this is a little continuation head and shoulders pattern that if it plays out uh, could result in this market heading back up to retest that uh, 1370 area 
that proved uh, to be the top of 2011. Um, so there you have it. Again, uh, we are in the holidays, so there's not a whole bunch of volume. And, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. But it does look like uh, the, the market is likely gearing up for uh, a little bit more upside tomorrow. Let's see if it can get over. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start getting some tough sledding up around uh, 1266, 1268, something like that. So let's just see what this market's got in the tank. Again, if we extend this line right here, which I think is a wise thing to do. Again, where is that line coming from? It is the parallel line to this top line that defined these tops. And I'm doing that because the last three trends that, that this market has shown us have all been in parallel channels. This one was down. This one was up. This one was down. So why not, uh, why not just kind of play the odds and, and say, okay, let's see if this is another one that goes up. So look, it's pretty brief uh, for today because, uh, well, we're still, still kind of getting cranked up with the holidays these last few days of the year. Um, when we get into January, I think, um, I think we'll probably have a little bit more to look forward to because this sideways action cannot go on uh, forever. Eventually, we're going to reach a convergence where uh, resistance lines begin to be met with support lines, and something's got to give. And I think uh, that'll be uh, in the, around the first of the year, and that will make things interesting. I want to thank uh, all, all of those who subscribe to SP500Chart.com. I really do appreciate your support. I hope you get something out of these videos. If you're not a subscriber, folks, it's pretty cheap. It's nineteen ninety five per month, and uh, that's less than a cheap cup of coffee uh, every weekday, and uh, and it's less than uh, five cups of uh, expensive Starbucks coffee. So look, take care. If you're not a member, think about it. If you are, thanks. And uh, if I don't, uh, if you don't hear from me uh, before this weekend, happy New Year.